हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड यू आर नोइंग दैट इंडिया इज फेसिंग वेरी डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन इवन होल वर्ल्ड इज फेसिंग डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन ऑफ द कोरोना प्रॉब्लम कोरोना वायरस एक्चुअली सो प्लीज यू ऑल आर रिक्वेस्टेड स्टे एट होम डोंट गो आउटसाइड एंड बी सेफ ऑल्सो राइट so we have decided to make the video for your study purpose please go through this and do the study also uh, now i am going to describe the first chapter of class 9th geography that is india size and location i have written some points here i will describe each points in detail right the first point of this uh, chapter is first you will have to understand the location of the country you have been studying india from the class 6 or even you can say class 1 also right so we will we will study the geographical situation of the india in detail in this class also right so first we will start the find out the location of india how can you locate the country india on the map of the globe also right so for this you will have to know the longitude and latitudinal extent of our country so uh, we are uh, i have written the longitude and latitude extent of our country the latitude extent of india is 8 degree 4 minute to 37 degree 6 minute and longitudinal extent of india is 68 degree 7 minute east to the 97 degree 25 minute east have you got the point no and north to north what does it mean it means that india lies in northern hemisphere and india latitude extend from the north direction to the to the north direction only it means if i will make the globe here suppose and this is the equator and this is the prime meridian i hope that you all are knowing about the equator and the prime meridian the you all are knowing the straight lines sorry the horizontal lines are the latitudes and the vertical lines are longitudes i am making the horizontal line it means i am making the latitude latitude will be the zero degree latitude will be known as equator and zero degree longitude will be known as prime meridian right so i have written the latitude extent of india is that is 8 degree 4 minute to the 37 degree 6 minute it means the latitude of uh, the globe actually divides in 0 to 90 degree it means point, the point which is known as zero which uh, prime meridian equator uh, cut each other which is known as origin actually o if we divide this area from o to p this will be divided in the 90 degree and this portion will also be divided in 90 degree we will take this portion o p and sorry r s this portion will be divided in 180 degree this one and this one also okay now we'll try to find out the location of india as the latitudes and longitudes are given the first is the latitude to 8 degree 4 minute to 37 degree 6 minute north as you are knowing india lies in northern hemisphere it means 
in this area and you are knowing the let the latitude start from 8 degree 4 minute north if we divide this whole length in 90 degree it means 8 degree will be somewhere on this point suppose it is 8 degree and 37 degree is somewhere on this point right now we'll we got the latitude now we'll try to find out the longitude longitude will be 68 degree 7 minute to the 97 degrees 25 minute it will be near 68 deg 68 degree will be near about this and 97 degree will be like this it means the cross section of these points it means India will lies between this area and this area will be known as India. A 68 degree 7 minute east to the 97 degree 25 minute east. This is the location of India. From this latitude and longitude we can find the location of India. Right now, come to the northernmost point of the India and southernmost point. As you are knowing, northernmost point of the India, it means what? It means what? This is the point northern and southern most, right? Next point is northernmost point of India and southernmost point of the India. The northernmost point of the India is Siachi, and the southernmost point is Cape Comorin, or you can say Kanyakumari, right? So Siachi meet what? Here. And Kanyakumari. Yeah. Right. These are northern and southernmost point of India. Now the next point is area. The area of the India is 3.28 square kilometer. Whatever the land surface we have in our earth, the India says 3.8, 3.28 square kilometer. It means it is. 2.4 percent of the area of the world now the important point next important point is the east and west extent of india east and west extent means the easternmost point of india and the sorry, the westernmost point of the india and the easternmost of the point of the india the distance between these points extent means how much the westernmost point of the India is far from the easternmost point of India. The distance of this point, these two point is 2933 kilometer. Now, the distance between the northernmost point and the southernmost point of the India is that is 3214 kilometer. Is the very important points you'll have to remember, right? You all are knowing India is seventh largest country in terms of area and the second largest country in terms of in terms of population. Now the next point is the boundary, the land boundary that India covers. It means what? Starting from Siachi, India's land boundary. It means what? The whole circumference, you can say, of the country. This is called land boundary. And this is 15,200 kilometer. Out of 15,200 kilometer, 
सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन किलोमीटर इज द कोस्टल लैंड बाउंड्री कोस्टल मीन्स द एरिया विच इज सराउंडेड बाय द सी इट इज सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन किलोमीटर राइट नाउ विल डिस्कस द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट द the the name of the country which share the common boundary with india so i have written pakistan and afghanistan these are the two countries which are in the north west of the country our country are sharing the common boundary with india you will get confused about the afghanistan right so afghanistan border we are touching through the pakistan occupied kashmir it is also the officially it is a part of the country china nepal and bhutan these are the in the north of our country and myanmar bangladesh these both the countries are in east of of our country that means here the bangladesh and myanmar pakistan and afghanistan you can say bhutan nepal and china right these are what is these are north bangladesh and myanmar it is in these are in east and pakistan and afghanistan these are in north west these are the countries which share which share common boundary with india now the topic of cancer you all are knowing the whole you can see equator equator divides into equal halves and prime divide prime meridian also the tropic of cancer which is having 23 and half degree latitude north and tropic of capricorn which are which is having 23 degree half latitude south the tropic of cancer is divide india in two equal almost two equal halves it means what this means it's divide india in two equal halves now okay these are the very and these are the important points which i have discussed with you there are the some points which are left i will discuss in the next video please uh, go through this video and enhance your knowledge thank you very much